No bueno. No good. <clears throat> so I gotta clean out all this vegetation. A little wet. I can't stand on that side because it's just all mush. No footing. And I forgot my uh, muck boots elsewhere. Now, when I cleaned out all the vegetation along the banks, when we first bought the house, there was all sorts of overgrowth around the bonfire, the stump, this whole area between that big stump over there and that stump there, and extending, you can kind of see it in the grass. And then all along here, too. And when I did that, that allowed this, what I think is watercress, Is that watercress? I don't know. It allowed it to have sunlight and grow, resulting in this. All right, so you can see after having dredged it out, it's not touching the water anymore. But it appears I still have to do a little bit more right in here. So you can see there's not a whole lot of drop in this whole region. And I dug it out some, so the way I made it is all of the drop is between this bridge and that dam. So I had to build that much flume. Otherwise I would have had to build a lot more flume, both downstream and upstream. So this works pretty good. Uh, that's why I didn't put the wheel any lower in the stream or make it any bigger or put it down there because I knew I would have had to deal with all of this vegetation growth. And the way it is now, it's it works just fine. So now that that's out of the way, one of the things I have to do is make a little bit of a, a chute here. I have the aluminum. It's 
leftover aluminum flashing from our new house that we're building. Uh, and I also have to make a little block that's going to screw on right, let's see, right there at the front face of the flume. And it's just going to raise it up like, I don't know, a quarter inch. And the reason for that is, when I close this trap door, the flume will fill with water. But the flume I built so it's pretty much level, uh, so it doesn't have any slope. So that means it has a lot of flow resistance. A lot of head resistance is what it's called. Head is... Um, height either real or effective due to the geometry of your flow trench or pipe or duct or any of that stuff. So it adds head resistance. And the reason I did, did it flat is so that I didn't lose any height whatsoever to get out there. Now, during steady state that won't matter because flow in equals flow out. But during this initial setup stage, it'll be nice to have, like, more of an on-off. Um, but its current way, you have on, and it slowly ramps up, because the pond has to equalize against the head pressure of the flume. But if I have a little block here, that pretty much forces the flume to flow continuously, giving it a, maybe a little bit of slope sort of like uh, you put a small dam at the bottom of Niagara Falls and it's going to flow over that dam at the same rate regardless of what you do to the dam because the falls are not affected by the dam. So I'm trying to make it so that the flume is not affected by anything that happens here, if that makes sense. So the flume's always going to be either on and quickly ramping up to its steady state or off and quickly draining. Right now, you know, like I said, when you close it, it slowly ramps up over like 15 minutes to an hour, however long it takes the pond to equalize. And I don't want that. Crap, it just split. And now I have silicone on all my fingers. Fantastic!
Less chooch this time. <clears throat> Less chooch, I said. Take out the old screw. There you are. A little bit of a split, but that's okay. Alright, I think that'll do. I'm doing the shoot here, and I have two inches of drop. So this is representing that two inches. That's off the end of the flume, so the flume will be shooting out here. And then this is the face of the flume. So I'm going to have the water come off, do a little bit of an S, and then... That's right, it'll have to be over here. So the water is going to shoot off somewhat horizontal. No. Well, I'm just horrible drawing here. No, wait, what the hell? Let me think about this. Alright, I did some sketching. Uh, here's going to be the face of the flume. The water is going to be coming this way. And the wheel is going to be down here. So I need to transition the water from here down to here sort of at a, a horizontal direction. So this is going to be the side of it. I'm going to cut off cut off this bit and some up here and I'll bend this here to go into my existing kind of shoot narrower. There's two angled blocks I have on there. And then I'm going to take some more of this sheet and cut tabs on the bottom and then fold the tabs over so I'll have a tab here and like a tab here and a tab here and those will be riveted on from the bottom and then silicone everything uh, so that give, should give me a nice smooth shoot to deal with all right I cut out the two shapes here um, so water's gonna flow down here and flow down here and then here I'm just gonna bend this as a a tab and this will attach to the narrow wing blocks uh, and then this I'll just fold into this shape with a tab on the end and that will allow it to screw to the to the flume my opening is seven inches and I want like half inch tabs so I'll make this at eight inches So I want the brown on the outside just so it kind of matches the rest of it. So this will be the outside. Okay, so first I'm going to start with a little bit of a, a bend in this direction.
pretty much just like that. Now these concave ones, I won't have enough room, so I'm going to bevel one side of it, just like that. Let's make sure that's like seven inches. Well, it'll be seven inches up here, which is what I care about. Trim a little bit more off here. All right, there we go. Um, so that'll go on there like that. And this gets bent back. So for my reference, this would be the north shoot, and then this guy's the south shoot, and this guy gets back this way. Close enough, I'd say. So then this all gets riveted together like that. It does appear that I have to cut off this last bit here because it's in the way. Just like that. And here's my rivet gun and rivets. I only need the really short ones here. What do we got? Short, short. I think these are the same. Oh, wait, aluminum still. Okay, I gotta use the aluminum ones. Man, some of these drilling crooked. Let's put it in low speed. Maybe it won't mess up as much going slow. Of course, a punch would help too. There we go. Although I now realize that it should be on the other side. If I have it there, then it'll touch on all sorts of debris. There we go. Take two from the inside.
There we go. I'm going to finish up riveting this off, these off camera because that's kind of boring. I'm sure you guys don't want to see that. Uh, yeah, it would be a riveting experience that you're missing out on. Now, this is my first time trying this. So we'll see if it uh, fits. Let's go from this side. Let's go from this side. There you go. Okay. Yeah, I think that'll work. I might need to raise up the wheel a little bit to reduce the clearance, but I think that'll work great. So I'll just have to screw it in now. Because I only have this half inch plywood on the bottom and I'm going to be screwing into it, I, I'm adding a, another anchor block to the bottom here. Pretty good. Um, probably could have spent a little bit more time measuring for those holes. Uh, and there's also a little bit of a gap right there in the corner. So I gotta fill that in too. So now that I have that installed, uh, I'm gonna open or shut the, the sluice gate.
want that stick to stick against here now with that resistance. unless the water is shooting at it all the way down here at the bottom. Uh, because right now where it is, the water's coming off the wheel right here and it's missing, it's losing about a foot's worth of power. It just converted into heat and noise and turbulence. So there's that ripple that's sort of acting like a, a constant flow restrictor. Maybe not so much right now with the flow so high, but I don't want to raise the level of the pond too much, otherwise it'll start leaking through uh, animal burrows on the other side of the dam. So that's as high as I wanted it. And it, I guess it kind of works because the water wheel caught up pretty fast as you saw. <laughs> 